a helicopter view now of a merchant fleet, that is, if the ships were real. But in fact, they're all models, part of the world's largest collection of model ships built by one man, Mr. Duncan Hawes of Harrow, Middlesex. In the past 20 years, he has made 758 of these perfectly detailed, exact scale replicas of the world's ships. Split bamboo, or occasionally steel pins, are used for masts, and the boats are made from cardboard and paper. The scale is incredibly small, one inch to a hundred feet. But rigging is the only detail left out. At the scale used, even a human hair is equivalent to the width of a man's waist. Every night of the week, Mr. Hawes comes home from his work with a travel organization to his model making by the fireside. It is more than a hobby with him. It is a passionate and painstaking life's work. Besides his model building, he is an authority on every shipping line in the world, knowledge which gained him his present job with the travel firm. Each part is minute, for altogether the boats average only a few inches in length. This one, for example, is a five-inch scale model of a Swedish 950-ton cargo boat, and some of his ships measure less than an inch. Even his model of the Queen Elizabeth is only 10 inches long, the largest in his collection. All the models, too, are painted to the exact colors of each shipping line, down to the correct color of the decks. Replacing rusty pins and other parts, repainting and dusting is all done to a system. One ship a week is given this overhaul, making it a 15-year job to do the present collection. Some of these ships may never get overhauled, for the collection is growing fast in the hands of a man who spends every evening of the year doing nothing else. <laughs>